Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, we decided to ditch Robo in the middle of the desert, so... Bye, Robo! See ya! We'll pick you up in about 400 years! Whoa! That was some good work there, Robo. And here we are, Fiona's Shrine. Ah, Fiona and Robo became a couple after he murdered her husband! No. Oh, the, the remains of Robo? Oh no, don't tell me. Well, fortunately, because of planting this forest, we now have access to much better armor. So, I'm going to pick up four Vigil Hats here. They uh, protect your status uh, from all status ailments, so those are really useful. Um, I'm going to give Luca's safe helm to Marley there and equip Luca with the Vigil Hat. And uh, Chrono, I'm not going to... Uh, give one to him, because we'll pick another Vigil Hat up later for him. Okay, Magus, take care of Robo now. I mean, even though you tried to kill him, you know, I mean, you were the one who destroyed this whole forest. Or your army trampled over it, or whatever. I suppose they never specifically say, but you can guess. Wow, those are some pretty good fusion batteries, huh? How nice to see you, Magus, after trying to kill each other! Yeah, it's a 400 year old character, huh? That must be like one of the longest character lifespans in a game that I've played. I'm sure someone's gonna mention another one, but. Uh, well, uh, Lavos was the one who sent all those gurus to all those other time periods. So, okay, now I know, viewers, you can't help yourself. Go ahead, discuss who you think the entity is. Just don't say Alphador, okay? Alphador is a freaking cat, okay? I like Alphador and cats as much as the next guy, but Alphador, a, a cat, is not a freaking entity of the whole planet, okay? Nice job, Marley. Way to hurt your best friend's feelings. <laughs> and Chrono's just sleeping there because he has nothing to say. <laughs> How convenient, Chrono. Maybe Lavos is the entity. No. They never specifically say. I, I kind of like how they do that. Normally, I don't like it when they leave things open-ended like that. But, you know, in this case, I think it works. Okay, so let's move on with the quest. We saved the forest, so that's all we got to do here. And, oh, hey, wake up! Wake up! Oh, no! All my characters are dead! No, no, they're just sleeping. Megus sleeps rather oddly. And it's a red portal. Oh, no! It's going to suck me back into the world of Warcraft! No! No! No. No, it's, it's not. I broke that addiction a long time ago. <laughs> that was a hard addiction to break, man. And, oh, apparently this was ten years ago. Okay, Luca would have been, what, six? Okay, well, let's check this out. Uh, password is his lovely wife. Well, do you remember the password, viewers? Or Tobin's wife's name? And... Let's see what's going on here. Oh, she's going to clean off her husband's equipment. How nice. Lesson to you, ladies. Don't clean your husband's or your boyfriend's things. This is what will happen to you. We don't like it when you clean our things for us. Okay, now where do I enter the password? Oh, here it is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, Please! Uh, uh. God damn it! Crap! Okay, well, we gotta hurry up. And if you didn't know, the password is Lara. L A R A. And if you're playing the PlayStation version, it's L1 R1, or L1 Circle R1 Circle. So, there you go. If you're playing the DS version, well, I don't know. I That version's not available yet, so. 
All right. Wow, we saved Luca's mom. All right. We totally hosed the past again, Luca. Great job. You got a gate in your room? Man, that's got to be scary. Well, I'd like to have a time portal in my room, you know. Then if anyone pissed me off, I could kick their ass before they do it. Oh, Robo's awake. Well, I, or, well, reactivated, I guess. Where'd the gates go? Crap. Well, yeah, kind of saved my mom's legs, which was awfully nice. And Amber, 400 years of pressure. Wow. What kind of diamond? Oh, a green dream. Well, that's an accessory. It, it essentially gives you uh, auto life. So you uh, automatically revive if you're killed, whoever puts it. But I never use that. So let's take a look at our techs here, shall we? Okay, so we've got just about, all, well, yeah, we have all of our techs for everyone except Magus. So now what I think is a, this, I think this is a good time as any to uh, get all your double and triple techs. Since, I mean, except for Magus, of course, because he doesn't have any except for the rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fight some weak enemies here in the, Guardia Forest, and basically what you gotta do is you gotta fight or win battles with different combinations of characters in order to get all of your dual and triple techs. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me to demonstrate all the triple techs in the game, but it's like, why would I bother with that? Because I mean, what am I gonna say? Here's this triple tech, and here's this triple tech. You know, I mean, I don't know really what I could say about that, so. Let's see what's going on here at Luca's house. Let's see how Lara's doing since we changed the past. Hey, she's walking around. All right. And she can do housework now. All right. There you go, Tabin. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to uh, get all my dual and triple techs. Uh, not that it really matters, but I might as well do that now. So I will take care of that and be right back then. I'll just fight some weak enemies here. Why not? Okay, I've got all the dual and triple techs ready to go, just in case, you never know. And for this next area, my party is going to be Magus, Luca, and Isla. Uh, Magus, well, Luca really wants to have the gold stud for this one, uh, because she's going to be casting Flare a lot, uses a lot of MP. Uh, Magus would want the silver stud. Uh, make sure everyone has Vigil Hats. Uh, I think the bosses in this area can, one of them can use chaos on you or something, I forget, whatever. Um, but yeah, do that, and uh, Isla, make sure she has the charm top, if you really want that, that is. So, with that, let's head to the next area, which is in 680! And there's a fugitive on the loose. We must stop him! Oh, Megas' lair is gone. But then there's the... The Black Omen there. How could I forget the name of that thing? Okay, and here it is. Ozzy's Fort. Huh, that's right where, uh... Uh, what is it? Medina Village is in 1000 AD. Huh. Yeah, that's right. I'm turning you in, dude! Uh... He's not a mystic. He's a human, just like us. Let's follow him again. More Looney Tunes antics. Yeah. Oh, great. He, he survived too? I almost said she, but then I suddenly realized. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we just kind of knocked, you know. Okay, please... Pretty easy to deal with, so a slapping good time. Okay, so let's take a look at Flair. Ow, quit it. Now for Magus, uh, we might as well use Dark Bomb. I mean, Dark Mist is basically the same thing, but it hits all enemies. So just use Dark Bomb there. Wow, that's pretty good. I think uh, Flea only has like uh, 2,000, 2,500 HP or something like that. Not much. Yay, we got him. Hey, where do you think you're going? To the next episode? 
Kefka's laugh is still better. Howdy, partner. He has treasure. All right. Uh-oh. More monsters! Okay, here we go. Hey, where's the command menu? What the? <laughs> and the music slows down, too. Ah, oh, crap. Only Chrono Trigger. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Next time, we'll continue th through Ozzy's Fort and try to bring this fugitive in. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.